Whiskey bottle and cork designs can be beautiful. It's heartbreaking to just throw them away once the whiskey is gone, especially if the experience was worth commemorating. Fear not, you magnificent bastards. I'm going to show you how to easily turn those awesome bottle corks into the world's greatest refrigerator magnets. First up, you need corks. The designs on the caps may vary, but the main consideration is what kind of cork material you're working with, natural or synthetic. It's pretty easy to tell the difference in the cork material if you know what to look for. If you have a natural cork, you just need a small, narrow, flathead screwdriver. The natural cork has a more pliable, grain-like texture. Simply insert the screwdriver into the middle of the natural cork, twist to break it apart. Next, scrape out the remaining cork material from inside the cap. Fun fact! If you collect the broken bits of cork and swallow them, you'll always float. No matter how hard you swim towards that dark, lonely abyss, Desperate to let it all just slip away. Synthetic corks are generally tougher and not easily removed from the cap with a screwdriver. I recommend using sandpaper to grind the synthetic cork down to the cap. If you have a wrench handy, it makes holding the cork a much more comfortable experience. Careful not to crush the little guy! If you're fortunate enough to have an angle grinder, you're seconds away from a perfectly prepared cork cap. After removing or flattening the cork material, you'll need magnets and an adhesive. Three quarter inch magnets are an ideal size for most corks, but you can find a wide variety of magnet sizes if you're working with a unique cork design. For the adhesive, some magnets are bundled with circular adhesive stickers, which are great if the surface is perfectly smooth. If it's not, one cork cap one magnet and a bit of crazy glue will deliver a result that will make the whole neighborhood scream themselves hoarse with delight. They won't have a choice. Don't forget to attach the magnet with the correct side facing outward. That could be an oopsie. If the attached magnet is too shallow to make contact with your refrigerator, you can add another magnet. Just glue the little guys in place and let it all dry. Afterwards, you can attach that whiskey magnet to the fridge and finally bathe yourself in its warm transcendent glory. If you hear whispers, don't worry. It's most likely the souls of the dead you've inadvertently trapped inside your whiskey magnet. They don't call them whiskey spirits for nothing. <laughs> Quick tip. I enjoy arranging my whiskey magnets into forbidden symbols that summon the old gods. And then, seconds before an Unimaginable terror breaches our reality and lays waste to life as we know it. I yank a magnet off the fridge and shut the portal. It's the only thing that makes me feel alive. After. Line! Cut! Dude. After you grew into an infinity level overmooch until a demigod sacrificed himself in a cosmic explosion that ended your rampage and cut you off from your Muji powers. Is it that was hard? was elemental force. Yeah, okay, of... we know, we get it. It was on the news! The local news, man. You're living in the past. Can you please just get here on time and read the scripts? People just want practical information. We don't need all this fluff that you're having. No, without me! Hey! Uh, intern. That last shot that we just did, can you please cut all of the... Not fluff! Crazy bits? Thank you. That's lunch, people. Let's go. Hey, man! There's a single moat here! You all right? You seem a little down. It's fine. It's just... Since losing my powers, Daniel. 
bit of a hard time. Oh, it seems like you're doing okay. Well, it's easy for you to say. Your powers were very lame. No way. I actually kind of like Super I lame. And that spirit bear. Hold on now. I'm Huge dork. Huge. Smelled like boiled vegetables and taint. Hey, that's too far. Like a big lumbering grunder. Ah, uh, let's just focus on you. What's going on with you? Just tiring, Daniel. Just tiring with work. Mm -hmm. The delightful value I bring. Mm. Nobody understands what I do here. I get it. The quality. Mm. You have nice qualities. It's my delightful plots and schemes. They're always getting sidelined for responsibilities. Yeah, I get it. And the kids at home. Do you know how exhausting it is to have three moochlings constantly suckling at your proverbial teat? Ah, dude. I said proverbial. Yeah, I don't want to talk. We all have teats. Stop talking about teeth. I thin the fit. Look, fine. Just barely have the energy to mooch anymore. Mm. It's not all that bad. Last night I was offered a pour of single malt. Mm. It's okay. I said I was too tired. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, look, we've all been there. It was 30 years old, Daniel. No, even I would have taken that one. Oh. Oh, God. It's gonna be okay. You'll, you'll, stop. Just, look, people like you, you're doing a job. You're gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. You're a mooch. Oh, you have to say that. <sighs> Why? Because you're my sidekick. I am not your sidekick. You're not just a henchman. Give yourself more credit than that. Uh, I value our relationship much more. I am not a henchman. I am not your sidekick. I just need to know something. Yes? Have you been mooching barrels from the barrel house? What? Like, I know you're going through a difficult time. I get it. If it's something we need to figure out, just tell me. How many barrels are missing? Five. My God, Daniel. Yeah, I know. This sounds like a caper, Daniel. Wait, are you screwing with me? A whiskey mystery. Look, if you didn't do it, we'll just put in security cam. A mystery that only I, the world's greatest whiskey detective, can solve. And my loyal sidekick, of course. Like I told you. What is it? Our first clue, Daniel. Those look like our barrels. He's taunting us. Daring us to pummel him with our thick rods of justice. Who's doing it? We know him only as Mr. Wiskowski. There's a trees in that sticker on the back of that window. It seems a new player has entered the fray. I say we welcome him. There's a top of the barrel house. But first we must find him. The photo has a geolocation. And introduce on. him to our thick rods. Enough with the thick rods. You don't like justice? Look, that's our barrel house. The photo is taken in the parking lot outside. He's driving a black truck. Well done, my loyal sidekick. I'm not your sidekick. This is a job for... <laughs> Mooch Man. And drive away. Mooch Man. I hate you so much. Mooch man. Mooch man. And Dream Boy. Mooch man. Don't forget Dream Boy. Is that a belt buckle? Oh, it's delightful. Let me see your whiskey. It's mine now.